Mazuma TV. Shout out to y'all for watching this video. Now, um, before I even get into this, just shout out to y'all, man. I see that LDBC is putting this on work. Really great videos. I need to get more consistent on this shit, but I just got to get myself situated before I even uh, continue to put out more videos. But according to Shannon Briggs' Instagram, um, he's saying that the WBO is ordering him to fight Freyaz Oquendo. Now, a lot of people don't really know who he is. Shit, I don't even know who he is, but... It's a great thing to hear that Shannon Briggs is finally fighting for the title. If you guys don't know who Shannon Briggs is, he's a two-time heavyweight champion. He has that real famous slogan that a lot of boxing, a lot of the boxing community is vibing with. The, uh, let's go, champ. Yeah. I said, yeah. You know, fucking around, um, harassing all of these fighters and shit. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, he was supposed to fight David Hay in the UK or whatever, but, you know, David Hay ducked him. And now David Hay's fighting uh, Tony Bellew for uh the current cruiserweight champion of the world so with all of this shit going on shannon briggs going through all of these obstacles not getting the fights that he wants so bad and that the fans even want to see as well it's supposed to run into wilder but i think wilder end up fighting uh eric molina instead um this has been a lot of shit but he finally has his chance and he's gonna fight the guy Freyas Oquendo. Now, the only thing I know about him, I, I googled his name earlier, and I found out that he's Puerto Rican like myself. So, um, I support the man all the way. I don't have him in favor to win. Obviously, the guy has eight losses, and I, I, I'm not. And he has been he has been knocked out before. So, this is definitely up for grabs for Shannon to win. Uh, definitely has more experience, but out of his last six fights, he's won five consecutively. So, the guy's building up some momentum. So let's see what he brings to the ring against Shannon Briggs. Uh, Shannon Briggs has been on a tear since he's come back. Not really face quality opposition, but he was able to market himself and put himself in the position as to where the fans would want to see him. And um, the WBA put him on the rankings, and now he's the mandatory for that belt, the vacant belt, actually. And they'll, and they'll fight for it. I think it's the regular title or whatever. Let's see what let's see what happens, man. I'm looking forward to this. I hope Shannon Briggs becomes a three time world champion. Shout out to Oquendo if he even uh takes up this fight. And let's just see these guys get it on, man. I wanna see some more. There's a lot of excitement going on in the heavyweight division right now. And um like I said, I would love to see this this fight just because of Shannon Briggs. I wanna see if he's able to accomplish his goals that he's been that he has set out years ago. Cause this man been out here calling out these fighters. For the past couple of years, he was chasing Klitschko around for I don't know how the fuck long. This man went to Germany. He had his press conferences in New York and calling the other fighters bombs and shit. Like, he, he's a crazy guy, but he finally got what he uh, truly deserves, honestly. And let's just see how the heavyweight division shakes up after this fight. I'm looking forward to this. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. This is Mazuma TV, and we out of here.